Hello everyone, uh, this is a this is a more web master based question and today we'll be basically looking into how to make sure that your site's secure for your visitors. Okay, number one, you want to first establish that you're a safe site with your visitors. How do you do this? There are a number of reputation services out there. Uh, first of all, go to virustotal.com go to virustotal.com and take your URL just run it through the scan reanalyze for me it should come back with a zero out of blah 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 engines if not you need to contact the company and get that fixed I did I had WebSense th the threat seeker and I had uh, Bitdefender I contacted both companies they got it fixed real nicely very quickly this will let your users know that your site, site is safe then you're going to want to get your sites established on many trust-based networks. Uh, the two best are Webutation, which I have 100 out of 100 on, and then you're going to want to use Web of Trust. Web of Trust is going to have to be reviewed from community members. I can't make that go any faster. You just have to request it on their forums. With the Webutation, you're going to have to actually put a file into your uh, root directory and then you can upload it. For instance, I've already done so, so I own the site according to them. They know I do. And you're also going to want to get checked out by Norton SafeWeb. You just do the same thing. You take the file they give you, upload it into your directory. This is a great way to first establish your safety among many many networks. This gives me 100 out of 100, which is what I'm looking for. This does not need to be here, but it says I'm safe. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. This is going to be worked on. It can only be established by viewers and people using Web of Trust. And then we're going to look at our. We're going to look at more ways to make sure you want to have a site that can that's constantly monitored. That's kind of what I've done with mine. And uh, let me just log in from here. And I kind of already done that, and I did it in a different manner than what most people are used to okay I did it in a different manner as we all know there's many things that can compromise your site number one um, bro never sorry number one spam comments spam comments are very malicious I have many I have two tools in place to prevent that and then malicious uh, uh, items in your database. Those cause issues. As we can see, it says I have a new comment. We're actually going to check on that right now. Anonymous generally means it's a spam. And if I look at the message, the, let me see. There is none. There was no message, which means it was an automated tool and I was able to block it. So, if you're using a WordPress based site you want to improve the security well I have two tools that will do that uh, WordPress security and WordFence both of them are extremely useful I recommend getting them if you can only use one use WordPress security and then use WordFence if you can use another one let me go into what they do WordPress security is basically it blocks spam prevents access from hackers by base attacks, SQL injections, forced login, brute force, all of them. Of course, it also does the file changes, which is very important for your uh, security. Now, we also have this, the all-in-one, this is, and firewall plugin, this is essentially the same thing, WordPress security, and then you have the all-in-one WordPress security and firewall plugin. It is heavily heavily recommended to get one of these and is because that has a lot of extra security features that you won't generally get it'll change the file names which will prevent hackers and spammers from accessing your database files by tracking similar keywords from WordPress for instance instead of being WordPress dash blah 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 and then blah 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 it'll say something random blah 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 WordPress and it can still access it because it's only a prefix to the file and it still can look for the main items of the file and you want to make sure that your user accounts are protected as well. User accounts also comes with this tool as a standard and you just change the admin username. That's my username and my display name. It has no real effect on me. I just think it's cool. And it's not like they're going to get it anyways. And then the reason you're going to use WordFence is because 
Word Defense is a very powerful uh, tool as well. It scans all your files. See, it scans mine daily. No problems. Scan comment with the source IP. And there was no comment before it to scan. And it uses 20 megs of uh, memory. And it does it in like 10, it does it in about 52 seconds right here. Nothing severe that will hurt your server by any means. We have live traffic monitoring, advanced blocking, and you go to the options. I mean, very powerful tools. So, if you're going to get your site saved, make sure you just get a bunch of antivirus dealers to scan it, monitor it, and then do the trust networks, and then just use uh, security plugins to help you. So, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned to the next video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.